Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a get ready with me. We're going to be doing a Valentine's Day look because Valentine's Day is this Sunday and I am going to answer some questions because I think this is a fun way to get ready. Um, ignore the big bandaid on my finger. Casey decided to wreck my entire finger like five seconds ago so she's uh, under the bed in trouble. But I got some new stuff that I'm going to use today. Um, including my first Natasha Denona palette, which I'm super excited about. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup and we're going to answer some questions and we'll see how long this video ends up being. And I'll zoom you in so that you can see me get ready. Using my LA Girl Brow So I'll link everything I'm using down below in the description box. So let me ask my favorite snack. Hmm. Currently, it would have to be. I've got. I go through like phases. I have a lot of favorite snacks. Uh, for a long time, it was Love Corn, which if you don't know what that is, it's this. Basically, it's just a corn kernel that's like super crunchy and super salty. They sell it at Whole Foods. Um, I think they sell it at Target too. You can usually get it in airports. I've noticed. Um, currently though, right now, it would have to be, uh, tortilla chips and salsa verde. I absolutely love it. I think a lot of, that's probably like the longest one I've had for a while. I've had this probably for a few months now. Ever since I came back to New York, I've had a huge salsa verde love. So yeah, and then add, also ask my thoughts on sparkling water. I hate it. I don't like fizzy water. I love regular water. I think it's very refreshing. I'm not one of these people who can't drink water, which I feel like that's the point of sparkling water. Or like if you drink a lot of soda, to let you not drink soda, but I don't, I don't drink a lot of soda. So yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Speaking of water, I always get so thirsty when I film a dang video. It's Milani. Yes, I do eyes first and then face. I notice a lot of uh, beauty people do face first. I used to do my face first, actually. And then I started doing my eyes first because I always needed to clean up the edges. And then that uses a lot more product. So, I don't do it that way. Um, ask, what's my favorite season? My favorite season is definitely fall. Fall in New York is absolutely amazing, especially in the Hudson Valley. That's, that's one thing I'm going to miss so much. I love, 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 love fall. Sorry, we're gonna have to deal with the shower sound. It always seems to come when I film. Um, yeah, I I love the fall in the, the Hudson Valley, um, but I will not be living here for much longer. Is this not white? Holy shit, it's not. See, and this is where we goof. Okay, it's not a white shade. Interesting choice. Um, okay, then I'll just go in with the crease. I'll find something to do. Let me... This is what it looks like, by the way. Uh, if my light would stop washing it out. Isn't it so beautiful? I'm dying because I love pinky shades. I wanted it mainly for this red, so I'm going to use this red. I'm going to start with the... Uh, start with Valentine, which is this really light pink shade here. Also, look at the back. I think this is so you can pop the pans out when you're done with them and recycle the package, which I think is really cool. Oh, look at this light pink, it's so cute. Favorite place I've visited? Um, would have to be Munich. I didn't spend a lot of time there. Me and Shannon went there, we went to Oktoberfest. It was so nice. Um, I have a feeling if I would have been able to go to, on my 2020 California trip planned, that probably would have been my favorite trip just because 
I was going to go to both Disneyland and Universal Studios Hollywood, and I'm a huge theme park nerd, if you didn't know that. Um, that is one thing I am looking forward to moving back to Florida. New York is just... We have some theme parks nearby, but none that I ever ended up going to the three years that I was here. All right, so then I'm going to do use the shade going. We use the shade. Let's see what this heart shade can do. It's a reddish shade. Oh, it's fuchsia pink. Okay, I love when things show up differently on the eyes. They do on the white. Um, if I could live the life of someone else for one day, who would it be and why? That's a good question. I don't think about that a lot. Um, I don't think about wanting to be somebody else that often. Um, probably Oscar Isaac because his wife is gorgeous and, um, I think he's really weird and that would be really enjoyable. And I would love to be BFFs with Pedro Pascal. And having been in Star Wars, even if my experience with Star Wars was bad. So that blends nicely. Um, I'm gonna do the other eye now. All right, I'm gonna use the shade Heartbeat on the outer corner. I'm gonna see to get the depth. I didn't realize this doesn't have a lot of depth. I guess commitment, but it's like a, it's kind of, it's a shimmer shade, but it's like really dark. Almost like a round heartbeat is something. Oh yeah. Ooh. That's nice. Okay, um, my favorite makeup palettes. I did a video on this. Um, well, I did the ones from last year, but my favorite palette is, which I haven't used in a while, is probably going to be my, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Volume 1 palette, and then it's probably my ColourPop, uh, the Child palette. I love both of those. I also really like, uh, my Mini Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum. That's a great little palette for every day. Uh, I did just get three new palettes. Um, well, I got the ColourPop Animal Crossing collection, which is two little quads, which I will be testing. Um, if you don't like Animal Crossing, I can tell you, just skip over it, because the palettes are nothing special. Um, I've tried one of the two that I have, and I have a feeling that one is going to be the one that performs better. The other one I don't have a lot of faith in. Um, and then I'm going to put the shade... Let's put the shade Pure Love because it's like, it's it looks duochrome-y, it's not that. Um, palettes that I want to try. Well, this one was on my list for a very long time, so I'm finally here. Um, I have, let me think, wishlist. I have a few Lime Crime palettes I still want to try. Um, I haven't purchase just because I didn't think I need it. Um, yeah, I feel like this was the biggest one that I can think of. Maybe something from Melt, because I've heard very good things, but nothing that they've made really sticks out to me. You know, actually what I really want to try is Kaja, I think they're called, has these little stacks of eyeshadow. I would really love to try those. Um, yes, yeah, so this is our eye situation. I'm going to put some eyeliner on and wipe off my finger, and, uh, yeah. My eyelids. Wings are sisters, not twins. Um, use the Wet n' Wild Breakup Proof Liquid Eyeliner. Like it. I thought of another, uh, answer for the, uh, palettes I want to try. Um, I want to try the, um, ABH Norvina Volume 4. That one I love. I think it's just so cute. Pink and neutral. Also, like the mini, some of the mini volumes. I have the one that's the blue palette. So, what is that? Mini Volume 2 or Mini Volume 3? Um, I don't know. Why was I about to just wipe oil off my face? Um, I use the Elf Primer Glow Oil. 
love it. Three places I want to travel. Tokyo, because it's on my Disney list of places to go. Los Angeles, because I haven't gone, and <laughs> probably Memphis um, or Dollywood. I just want to go to Tennessee, to be honest. Um, just uh, very 70s, and there's a lot of big stuff in Memphis. Um, and I'm going to be using the Ordinary Serum Foundation, which is literal liquid. Um, favorite songs at the moment? Mm. What do you think? Um, probably <laughs> new, new Ming One Blues by Grateful Dead. Love it. I'm loving a lot of Grateful Dead at the moment. Uh, I listen to a lot of Led Zeppelin, but I don't know. I really love Kiss the Pride by Elton John. I don't know, I, I just really love that song. It's one of my favorites right now, actually. Um, if you can meet anyone, who would it be? Uh, this is kind of hard, actually. Because also in my head, I'd say Jade from Little Mix, because I got a lot of stuff that I would like to tell her. Um, Especially about how she can be a better ally, because um, I mean, not that she hasn't done some stuff for us, but you know, gotta stop focusing on you know the cis white gaze just a touch. Just a touch. So probably still Jade, but also I would really love to meet Robert Plant. Um, I'd really love to meet Elton John. I think he has just some very fascinating stories, and I love so many stuff, but, like, there's really fascinating. Um, I use the e.l.f. Uh, hydrating camo concealer. So I asked the favorite thing to make in my bake shop, which, yeah, if you didn't know, I am selling baked goods. You can order them through a Google form, which I will have in the description box. I also should have a bake with me up already. Um, I've been really behind in terms of videos. I don't know. I've had kind of busy weeks, so I haven't really been able to upload as many videos as I'd like. I try to do Tuesday and Friday. The past two Fridays I've been unable to upload videos, so, um, I'll try to get that up. Hopefully that's already up, which you'll be able to see. My favorite thing to bake I mean, there's things I find that are particularly fun to bake. I like pumpkin bread. I think that's the strongest thing that I make. I think it's the best thing that I make. And I don't know if the process itself is very fun to bake. Um, things that are very fun to bake, I would say, are like things that you have to like do with like lacing and stuff like that. So um, lacing is in like you're braiding things, not lacing. <laughs> Um, I would say probably pie was the most fun thing I've made. Uh, pretzels are kind of fun to make. Like if I actually, I typically make pretzel bites because the pretzels braided don't look that great yet. I haven't mastered that. So I think that, uh, pie is probably the most fun thing to make just because the latticing is it's fun. It's very time consuming though. It's like you have to make the dough and then it has to sit overnight and you have to do all that, yada, yada, yada. You know, I have a huge dry patch on my forehead and I don't know how to get it to go. Um, so if here's, I've had some questions about Scooby-Doo stuff. I'm doing videos on that, um, where I will rank them. Uh, the Scooby movie one will be later because I have a lot still to watch. Uh, TV should be soon. I'm almost done. I'm almost done with um, Scooby-Doo and Guess Who, which is the show that is currently still on air. It's a Boomerang exclusive show. Um, I've changed my mind on it a little bit, which I will talk about, so that'll probably be within the next few weeks. It might be a video that goes up um, while I'm moving so that I have something scheduled to go up. This is the number seven powder. Um, but I will 
cheat and tell you that it is Scooby-Doo Goes Hollywood. Wasn't for a long time, but it's so good, y'all. Um, favorite, somebody already asked favorite season. Favorite Little Mix song right now. Hmm. I love, so mine probably would be uh, Nothing But My Feelings because I'm loving that right now off Confetti. Um, we should get more Little Mix stuff soon. Oh my god. I forgot about this powder being completely uh, peach tasting. Um, by the way, this is the best powder ever. It's the Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. And was on sale at Sephora, and I've missed it, so. Nothing compares to you, baby. And I have dry skin, so this works pretty well. What's the difference between living in New York and living in Florida? <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot. That's different. Um, weather, major difference. Today it is... Today it is snowing, so there is a massive issue... Uh, there's a massive difference in in weather. Um, it's uh, transportation. I don't live in a big city in Florida. Uh, not even like a big city in Florida wouldn't even have this. Like we don't have good public transportation in Florida. They're apparently building a rail to connect Orlando to Miami um, and also to Tampa so that's great but they they don't really have public transportation so you have to drive everywhere weather is intensely different um, it's it's loud it's loud here in New York it's not loud in Florida uh, the change of pace I think is probably one of the biggest things that you'll notice lifestyle wise everything is kind of slower in Florida, I think people are like a little bit more laid back. Um, New York is very hustle and bustle. I don't think New Yorkers are rude. <laughs> I think New Yorkers are weird. Like you'll meet a lot of, uh, let's just call them weird people in the streets in New York. You would never meet characters like that in Florida. Um, I mean, they're, they're, they're crazy in Florida, don't get me wrong, but it's a different type of weird. Here in New York. So there are things that I'm looking forward to not dealing with. Snow, the New York City subway system, I'm so over that. And straight up weirdos. I mean there's weirdos in Florida, like I said, but not to this extent. Um, oh my god I powdered my face. Oh, we'll see how this lasts though. So I have a cream blush and I totally forgot. Oopsies. Okay. I want to put on the Fenty. Uh, should I put on this thing first? Yeah, I'll just put on the bronzer first and then see how the cream blush lasts on top of powder. Uh, rookie mistake. God, oh, thing. Um, okay, so I answered my favorite song. Favorite band? My favorite or the best band? Because I have this feeling my favorite band is Queen because I love them. <laughs> I don't know how to explain. I mean, I, I love the members of the band and they're just great and their whole vibe is something I really adore. My The best band? is Led Zeppelin. People can try to fight me on this, but I'm just gonna let you know you're wrong because the answer is Led Zeppelin. But I don't want you to page. As a musician, he's great. As a person, no comment. Favorite music decade? The 70s, of course. Alright, we're gonna try the Rare Beauty Blush. Maybe I'm just gonna... Oh. 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 Alright, guys. Blush is done. Let me see how this. How do I blend this out? Bro, I don't know how to blend this. Is there a secret? 
maybe not putting it right on my face. Maybe I do want to do it for my other blushes. Let me see what I can do here. Just don't look up close. I'm just want. I'm getting a good amount of pigmentation. I didn't want to go with a darker color because I was worried it was gonna look crazy. But I, this looks fine. It's just I'm gonna have to learn how to use it. So I just gotta amount on my hand. And this is what I do with my other cream blush. Well, I mean, you can see it. I literally just take this beauty sponge, which is from... That's the New York City Subway. It's very loud here. No, just kidding. That's the snow bottle. Um, that's how I use my ColourPop blush. So I scoop it, and this is the Beauty Bakery. So... Yeah, that worked better. Okay. But uh, explanation of the 70s thing, I can't even tell you. I just love the vibe so much. Like, I feel like I'm, like, half the songs are just sitting here. I'm, like, going on a road trip or something. I just love it so much. I love the 1970s. I'm, like, literally obsessed with them. Don't know why. Can't tell with my, like, tapestry and my flower crowns and stuff. I don't know why. I just am. And I just love it. I love the 70s. Love it. Okay. So, uh, I'll keep trying the Rare Beauty blush and I will not put it over powder because that was dumb. Because it definitely wiped it away a little bit, but not terribly. I mean, some stuff would be like, it would be gone. So, and it dries. I don't feel like my face is tacky or going to move around. Um, I have the Becca Moonstone blush. It's a mini one. I got at TJ Maxx. Okay. I don't. Favorite rom com? I don't watch a lot of rom coms, but I would have to probably say 10 Things I Hate About You. Um, coincidentally, it's an adaptation of Tame Me with Shrew. And I'm a theater kid, so it works out there. Theater. I call myself a theater kid. I'm 23 years old. Nobody's talking to me. It's embarrassing. Um, I'm blending it together. Favorite chocolate? Like big brands you can get everywhere. You know what's good? I'll give you some specific ones. I'm so tired of the snow because of the damn snow plow. So I'd have to say that you can get everywhere. I don't even know if it's everywhere, but if you can get it, Justin's, they're like peanut butter cups, almond butter cups. I love almond butter, it's so good. I get the Trader Joe's almond butter cups, which obviously you can't get unless you have a Trader Joe's. So the Justin's ones are pretty good. I recommend that. Um, if we're talking like candy, I love peanut butter cups. I love Twix. But I think like the health, not healthier, the more organic, less preservative ones, um, the alternatives are better. So, uh, top ten, uh, top ten books slash games. I will just let's throw a couple out because uh, top ten is a lot. It's a whole video. Um, in terms of books, I don't really read. I can tell you that. I am pretty sure I'm dyslexic. I have issues with numbers and letters both flipping on me, so it's very hard for me to read a lot of stuff. I skip lines, so I don't read a lot. Um, my favorite book that I have read is Jane Eyre, which is funny because a lot of people think that book is really boring. I just really loved Jane Eyre. Um, I would love to adapt it into a script. I think that would be super cool. I do write myself. Um, a couple ideas for scripts. Uh, 
um, both in terms of plays and screenplays. I'm a theater person. Um, I do have a theater degree, so that tends to be my strong suit, but I want to delve into film a little bit. Not sure how I feel about TV, though. That is my pet peeve. Why? Okay. Um, games. I don't play video games, if that's what you're asking. Look. I'm a loser who doesn't have a video game console. <laughs> um, I used to have a Wii. It was like the one thing I had. My brothers had PlayStation, so I used to play games when I was little. Um, I used to play a lot of Animal Crossing. I used to play Super Smash Bros. Mario Kart. Like the Wii sports games. That's the stuff I used to play. Um, also, like, the Star Wars Battlefront games. I played some Lego games with my little brother. He's, like, yelling at me because I don't know what to do. Um, I played... Oh, I play used to play Call of Duty. Um, just the zombies. The Nazi zombies. I used to play that. Nothing too intense. I don't know. There's stuff that I'd be interested in playing, I just don't, don't play games. Um, I play, I don't play board games. I'm really good at life. I must never lose the game of life. I was undefeated. My championship reign came to an end. I was defeated by my brother Mark. I also was... Does this count? At Universal Studios? I've all... At Modern Men in Black, I've always gotten the bonus. Every time I've always gotten the bonus. I've never missed it. Never missed it. And it's been like 10 years. <laughs> um, somebody asked, what's my dream job? I didn't answer that one yet. Uh, I, got, I got a lot. Um, I love to write. I love to direct. I love to act. I'd have to say out of that stuff, I would... Mm, Probably directing. I would like to direct out of everything else that's listed. Directing is probably the number one. Also, I forgot to put on my setting spray, but uh, I don't want it to get to my eyes, so I'm just gonna move on to lips. Uh, yeah. With the e.l.f. Sheer Slick in Sugar Palm. Um, and then favorite shows and movies. My favorite show? Love Scooby-Doo, as we've stated. I watch every iteration of Scooby-Doo and so that I can rank them and so that also I can consume all Scooby-Doo media for my own personal gain. Love that 70s show. I miss it on Netflix so much. That 70s show is probably one of my favorite shows ever. Love, uh, Love Daredevil. Love Jessica Jones. Rest in peace, those. I still have to watch the DC shows. Favorite movie? Jurassic Park. Love me some dinosaurs. And also, Guardians of the Galaxy, which I rewatched last night, was so much. Was so much. Alright, so I'm gonna put on uh, my hair and then. Uh, Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this little Q&A get ready with me. Uh, apologies, because I know it's going to be super long, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you are interested in the future and video doing other videos like this, I would love to do it. I love to answer questions and kind of just sit and chat while I do my makeup. Um, just make sure to follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I should have links to both down below um, so that when I ask or questions, uh, you are sure to answer. I put my little flower crown in because I think it looks super cute and with this hair. Um, so this is the final Valentine's Day little look we got going on here. Some pinks and purples. 
Um, I think it's pretty traditional for this. I'm excited to keep trying these new products, I, these two new products that I have. Um, the Nat Natasha Denona Love Palette in the Rare Beauty Blush. I'll make sure to let you know kind of what I think going you know, in the future. And yeah, if you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. I uh, attempt to do two videos a week, um, both Tuesday and Friday. I do beauty, uh, declutters, doing a lot of declutters as things are as I'm packing, um, uh, comic stuff. I should be doing a video. I haven't made up my mind if I'm going to do a video tonight on the Super Bowl trailers because I know we're going to get some for Falcon and Murder Soldiers, so it will probably break that down. And maybe that will be the one that goes on Tuesday. We'll kind of see. You know, when Marvel or DC announces something, I tend to uh, reshift my schedule around. But yeah, I'm also starting a new thing on my channel where I'm going to have a guest and we're going to talk about a specific topic. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe to stay tuned. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to catch something else, you can watch it right here. Next when you subscribe too. You can watch the next video and then subscribe, or you can subscribe and then watch make a different video, whatever you want to watch, you know? It's all up to you. Alright, bye guys. Thank you guys.